here is the clip of him calling you ugly. Better talking. And some jokes. Giving, giving you an opportunity mm. to respond here. Let's take a look. The people who take everything dead serious to their heart, like some just chill. It's like. Yeah, I got jokes. Um, mad jokes. H3H3. No, you I don't. don't. Know. It's okay, true. hold on. You got only one joke. Jeffrey Dahmer's. Oh. You got true. one joke. Um, yeah, continue. I'm so zany and crazy. I think John Dahmer was cool. Yeah. I That's believe, awesome. I believe the word he used is badass. He's a badass, mm -hmm. bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. If you're so badass, then jerk off with Donnie's heart. Prove it to me. Stay down, fucking baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's going to take something out of this and be like, That guy sucks. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. But do you remember I, the, the thing that I've realized about can, that Can you guy pause, Ethan? Like, no, do you think he expected us to make two episodes about this? <laughs> <laughs> you know we went even harder than he thought we would. Like, I, by a long shot. I, I, I was just going to ask Ela, did she see the subreddit post asking if they were wearing pants? On that I place? love it. Oh it's my so god, funny. it's so funny. Yeah, I love that. <sighs> I, uh, I, I, yeah, I was watching everything, and I watched you guys talk about it. Oh, right, right, right. I loved it. Thank you, everyone, too, for everything that was said. All right, here we, here we go. <laughs> oh, he doesn't work out, so I, I can't take his... Can't take it serious? Can't take his opinion serious. Damn. Someone that That's doesn't tough. work out and, like, talks down on working out, can't really yeah. take him serious. That's when I didn't take him serious, when he related working out to laser tag. That's when I was like, man. I, I can't get over Bradley. <laughs> so mad about the laser tag thing. And my point is, it's a hobby, Bradley. By the way... But you, when you were talking about it, wasn't that in relation to COVID? Yeah. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, do you guys have a brain? I don't know. Wait, like, you guys. Bradley Martin's assistant wrote us back this morning mm -hmm. saying he's interested in coming on our show. I would do it. I would, I think Bradley's a sweet guy. Yeah, I, I to do talk. too. I, I think he's got a beautiful soul, a pure heart, this and whole, big ass fucking thought. I'm a huge fan. This whole segment, yeah. every time Stevie Boy said something, Bradley's like, hold on, hold on. Like, yeah, he you walks can it back. tell. He knows, but um, yeah, I like him. Sweetheart, man. I would like, like to get lost in those thighs. <laughs> Hell yeah. I need to be there too to make sure you don't get lost in those thighs. Yeah, I know. Right. You gotta hold me back. Steve could literally hold hold me up like by he could break break me like a wishbone, Daddy. Bradley, not Steve. Bradley. Yeah, Brad, <laughs> not yeah Steve. Bradley, not Steve. <laughs> Steve couldn't do that. Steve is a little guy. <laughs> this will really get to him. <laughs> I can't take him serious. I can't take and you also, seriously, Steve. The only Steve. interaction I ever had with him on the internet was because, like, someone told me that he was talking shit about me. And like, in in, where, in retrospect, when I think about all these things, I'm like, where along the lines did like I ever just talk shit about a random person? Oh, I would that never I never just met. talk shit about someone. Never. But, but then again, that's Not the type of content. It's like picking apart. Like a minute like, later, who <laughs> literally barely even said anything ever. Yeah, no, he he never would, except right, right, right. a minute later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, somebody said when when Bradley comes, I gotta wear the smallest shorts I can find. Oh my god! <laughs> How do these guys keep their balls in their pants? Like legitimately, those bit those balls about to ask. dip yeah. out. No, he yeah. probably had there's got some, tips. There's Tape? Ball tape? There's the, like double maybe, undies. No, it's like the Nike training boxers, I think. They do help. Compression pants? Yeah, I, I've only found out about them because of boxing, but they're, they're not perfect. I would not be that confident, I'll say. AB's <laughs> being modest. He wears them. Wears them every day. I, I, I am wearing them right now, actually, but they, they, they're comfortable. <laughs> Under your pants you're wearing? Well, whatever. It's, yeah, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Wait, pancake batter is when the balls drip out on a hot bench? <laughs> yeah. <What>? Whoa. <laughs> Why? That's, that's gnarly. <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> Wait, okay, who, who among you spends time in a gym? You know, Regular. not me. <laughs> I've, I've gone four days in a row. <laughs> I was just wondering if you see dudes' balls ever. Uh, no, not at the boxing gym. More at like a regular gym, I feel like dudes you are You catch balls? At the regular gym. Batter? It's more common no to see shorter shorts. Dude, that's fucked up. If I saw a dude's nutsack, I'd be out of there. <laughs> in the sauna area, it happens quite oh. frequently. In the sauna, you're... That's fine. People are naked yeah. in the sauna. I'm talking about lifting weights. Oh, okay. Balls out, brother. <laughs> <laughs> balls out, brother. Saying, it's a business for him. Yeah. Like, he doesn't have people that love, love him for... Him being funny, I don't think. 
or him being. I'm sure. I'm sure true, some people true. like him. him. We've talked, we've I, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll just add where I want to add. I just uh, specifically here. I love seeing him say it, and I love seeing his girlfriend like disassociate from the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, situation she's in. Yeah. Total disassociating. Exactly. I confirm I'm sh- comedy. I, mean, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's funny, but like to, I, to me, I know balls. that a lot of young males liked me because I was a role model, young multimillionaire doing crazy things on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Hanging okay. Out. Um, <laughs> what role models talk about themselves as role role models? Does that does serious that... question? <laughs> like, I think that right there makes you not a role model. It's like impossible to be a legit role model and be calling yourself. A young role model. Kev Kev apparently referred to himself as a role model. Again, proving my point. No shot. Well, I mean, allegedly referring to himself in those articles that, uh, let me just, actually, I'm going to plead the fifth on this one. I'm going to plead the fifth. Drive I'm not going to get sued. All righty. With, you know. You know what? I don't, I don't want you to rehash this. Let me go where he talks about yeah, it. Yeah, just go. at the very just end. The, and That's fucked. <laughs> Yo, this is where we have to end the podcast. Yeah, right here. I'm pretty. Dog his yeah, wife. Dog is right. Bro, I'm gonna dog his. I wanna be yeah, a 250 pound podcast host <laughs> with <laughs> with an ugly wife and just talk shit about. Oh, you don't dog his wife. I'm gonna dog his wife. Dog his Wait, wife. apparently his girlfriend at the time goes, "That's fucked up" or something. She says that's mean. Yes. Right. Nobody's liking what you're putting out there, Stevo. Well, I think they're probably both like, "Well, you probably shouldn't say that after all you just said." <laughs> also. Like, they're also keeping his best interest in mind by being like, mm, don't, you're, like, actively, totally... Like, Undermining exactly everything you, you just said. said. Well, and also, you just unleashed the H3 trilogy on your ass. <laughs> Yo. Well, first, it's like... Not the Lord of the okay, Rings, your ass, um, Join the list of ugly guys calling me ugly. Right. <laughs> um, take a look in the mirror at your pizza skin. I don't know what's going on there. What's your skincare routine? Release that. Let's take a look at hey, that. You know what a skid care routine is? Um, it starts with vodka. I was going to say, AM. Ma- yeah, he does some marination. <laughs> um, no I don't know experience. what's going on there, but like, I don't know. A guy like this calling Wait. a girl ugly is like the biggest self-report. It's like. This guy? Yes. This it's guy's ugly? It's just a self-report. Like, you are quite objectively ugly. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it's pretty objective. <laughs> you think like so? Man. I never. I think he's not that bad looking, because he's in good shape, at least. I think so. <laughs> I don't think Steve's, like, I don't think he's, like, totally ugly. I mean, he's not, like, up on my... He's. He, what would you rate him? Because he already called you I'd rate him forgettable, that. like, just, just another guy. Like, I don't know. Like, out of 1 out of 10, nothing interesting. I don't know. Yeah. No, I get it. I mean, he's not like, he's not obviously not gorgeous. I mean, shit. He's got fucking, uh, he, you know, his nose looks like the surface of the moon here. He's got craters the size of the Everest. It's a vibe right now. Thank you. Missing or hitting? Um. Let's keep going. Right. Bro, I'm going to dog his wife. <laughs> Because she's not pretty. That's fine. The haircut's not doing him any favors. I just want to say. The haircut is not helping, bro. I just, I don't know. It's like, the this is like so unattractive to me. I, I couldn't even like, it's just like, I couldn't care less that he thinks that I'm ugly. Yeah, I know that. Um, also, maybe I just need to wear some, I don't know, a leash or something to turn you on. Because obviously, I'm not in the criteria. <laughs> But you say you need to wear what? A leash. Oh, a collar and a dog fire. Also, you need a cock because he, he's only into male dogs. We established. Donnie. Sure. Donnie. Wife. It's a whole dog is right. Bro, I'm gonna dog his wife because she's not pretty. That's fucked. And That's... I love how he goes. I'm gonna dog her because she's committed the biggest crime. Yeah. She's not pretty. Yeah. I'm just gonna say it. It needs to be said. Fuck. But what I, I have an opinion. She's not pretty. Nobody asked. Fuck face. No, nobody asked, and nobody right. could care less. Like okay, and okay, if I'm not pretty, like so what? Like that's the biggest crime Literally. I can commit. Mm-hmm. I like okay, maybe I'm not pretty. So I don't know. It's just so stupid. You have you shouldn't exist if you're not I, pretty like, as a woman. It's basically uh, why why even be here? 
Well, yeah. it's clearly what he's saying is that the most value a woman can give is through her appearance because yeah. if he's going to reference you and that's the only thing he's going to reference to talk about your worth, I feel like he, that, that proves that he sucks. He's all but said that, basically. Maybe when I was like... A teenager, this would really like get to me, mm -hmm. you know, a guy Upset. calling him ugly. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, no, I I know myself for it. I've I've accomplished stuff not based on my looks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I accomplish stuff based on other things, and I, to me, that's what's important in my life. And also, I live. I have a real man <laughs> that oh, has really shit. really taught me confidence and like to see you know my yeah. <laughs> my value I didn't and expect all that yeah so and your bomb not not today this would not like yeah I, all i can do is just laugh at you and think that you're sad he's a boy he's a little boy that's that's really what it is yeah he, he's he's uh -huh, a bitch he's a I'm and not because you're, you're young man. young role model he's, he's you're 24, 24 the like way. okay you're 24 you're, you're not, not that you're not, young bro you're not doogie hauser you're fucking 24 yeah <laughs> you're not like a 12 year old not, not young enough to be walking around calling yourself young you know <laughs> that's just weird that's, that's just yeah. like grow up i agree <laughs> yeah well said i do think so i think a real man builds his his woman up yeah <laughs> okay didn't expect all that coming from you Man. i like to hear it though well i've Man. been waiting since i heard him since i heard this clip i've been like good just waiting to He's talk about good it. oh thank you joe agrees i like that thank you joey straight up sh like straight up. again i would rather have sex with jeffrey dahmers than your go wife. ahead <laughs> he Wait. is really into this idea of fucking Jeffrey yeah Dimes. maybe just, just go do it it, <laughs> it kind of sounds like you really want to because yeah, well, he like, made the same joke in this episode about something else it's like yeah it, this it's joke a, is repeating a lot it's a bit that's going on that i think actually needs to be analyzed i think <laughs> we might need to do a wellness check on steve possibly this look under the floorboards um there's more than a bit can you change it? I want to do a sound edit here, Zach. You can help me with. But what? I, I have an opinion. She's Hold not on. pretty. Like, straight up. She, like, again, I would rather have sex with Jeffrey Dahmer's than you. Okay, now, now what I want you to do is change it and say, I would rather have sex with Donnie. It sounds basically the same. Okay. I <laughs> and I think that's what he meant. Okay. I can definitely do that. Yeah. I'd rather have sex with Donnie. Your wife. Yeah, okay. Yo, this might be where we have to end the podcast. No, that's it's for true. Sure and that's going to argue him, but Jeffrey Dahmer's is way more attractive than your wife. Yeah, that's yeah, fucked. I mean, okay, that's fucked. I mean, that's, that's a fine opinion to have if, you know, uh, go Don, there. That's your preference. Yeah, that's yeah, your preference. That's, God bless you, dude. Sure, I'm sure there's a lot of people who find him attractive. I mean, Don, I disagree. Donnie. I'm not, I'm not. Nothing wrong with it if you find him attractive or yeah. i mean there there is something wrong though with finding the dog that's illegal actually it's kind of, yeah well acting on it's illegal but yeah but acting on it that mental illness of wanting to have sex with animals is mm. a condition that needs to be treated and addressed by a professional mm. yeah Donnie. Wanting to fuck a dude is fine. No, it's totally you know, fine. You know, the Maybe fact that go do it, go try it. Yeah, go try it. You're saying so much how much you don't find me attractive, and then that you do find Jeffrey Dahmer's with an S attractive. Maybe you should go try it. It's because he imagines more than one of them. He just wants he just wants that Dahmer bukkake, right? Right, bukkake. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just making sure. And that's basically it. You know? That's it. Uh, every, uh, I can't even, I don't even know what days these podcasts will come, but come back every Tuesday. Raw Talk. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're on, we're on that was some Raw Talk. That was some Raw Talk. <laughs> he walks away like he ate also. Yeah. He's like, mic drop. Yeah, I know. He's like, hilarious. Yeah, so that's, that's Steve will do it. And the thing is, I think the reason why we spend so much time on this is because it's like incredible how it always happens. Like Keemstar, Andrew Tate, Rice Gum. Mm -hmm. Whenever they come for me, they all go, "Your wife is ugly or boring or late." It's like, dude, what are you? Why? It, it's actually a serious misogyny mm -hmm. happening that's still culturally 
I mean, really all, accepted enough for their fans and to all these guys are very misogynistic so it all you know lines up even in that episode i love how he tells the story about how he did a girl thing because he went to russia without money mm. i don't know why like figure your shit out yeah that's um, kind of fucking dumb bro it's not a girl thing that's called just being an so idiot. he found some girls to buy him dinner not girls to their fans some fans. Some fans. They were whatever. The, yeah, fans. They were being yeah, he, the girls and this framing he, yeah, that they're yeah, doing. So that's his opinion of girls. It's like no, yeah. he's, he thinks very lowly of women. Clearly, join us and together we'll end women. Mm, to movement, <laughs> solidarity, my brothers. Yeah. So shout out to all the misogynists out there and uh, Ela's doing great. You know what I mean. And right. she looks. Fire. She's so. slaying today, and um, Steve, if you're watching, we can send you one of these shirts that we're going to be making here. You want to show that off? To Steve? No, we can't. Because nobody's out of his league. Here, show it off. Yeah, just saying. This is all dedicated to Steve. We're going to make a special Teddy Fresh. Everybody can sure. buy it but Steve. We'll be checking IDs at check. Yeah. Out.